Yo guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the Country Crusade. We're just about to embark into our fifth season here. And if you watched last episode, you would have seen we stayed up in the Premiership. We had already confirmed that. We're just really sorting out and talking about what sort of we're going to do with the squad, what are the sort of plans. Whereas I feel like after finishing last season in 13th, I believe it was. Sort of, if we hit that sort of same area, maybe a little bit higher, anywhere between 13th and 8th, I'll be happy with. We sort of done really well to stay where we are, to stay in the league. And if we can get anywhere near here again, I'll be extremely happy. I at least want to hit 47 points again. That's sort of the minimum aim I'm, I want. But as you see, this season's already kicked off with West Ham sitting top of the league. And yeah, so I don't know if I showed you who came up last year. Who went down? Burnley, Bournemouth and West Brom went down. So let's just go through the divisions quickly. Um, Brentford, Watford and Derby all came up. Um, Sheffield United, Huddersfield and Oxford went down. And, um, Bristol, Luton and Burton went up. Pompey's gone down. Rovers, Rochdale and Southend have all gone down as well. I'm not going to go much further than this. I'll sort of just quickly click and you can see if you want to know. If you can pause at any time, just have a look at the table if you really want. But the bit that you're all wanting to see is what have I done with the squad? Because I really needed to sort out our team. And I've been literally all over the place with it. <laughs> and I've spent quite a bit of money. So I'm not going to go through every single player. A lot of them are frees. Or a lot of them are sort of free for the future. So I'll sort of show you the best ones a lot. And in terms of outs though... The biggest deals were Will Keane going to Bristol City for 5.5 5 million up to 7.5. Will Grigg going to Genora? Is that Genoa? Genona. Girona. Spanish. So the R is going to be rolled. So probably Girona. But I don't know who that is. Because they've taken out all the licensing. I don't know who they are. But, oh well. He's gone off to Spain. <laughs> gone off to go in the sun. Chrissy went to Brentford, which I was trying to get him out as soon as possible. And then we got some, basically all the rest of the loans. Harrison has gone to Exeter. All the rest of all sort of loan deals. And I really used to have a load of youth players because they're not good enough to get in our team. It was like, get them out of the dorm. They'll be gone then. So I sort of trimmed our under 18s, which was about four, size, four times the size of that. And now we've got no one there. But oh well, not my problem. But in terms of players coming in, uh, all these are all youth players. I'm just going to click on them, sort of show you their stats, see what they look like. I'm not going to go through them in depth at all. These are all literally ones who came in on youth intake day, who look all quite decent and can probably grow into good players for us. Who so are going to be in our reserve team and or going back out on loan. But in terms of players, first players coming in, in terms of money is Asmir Begovic. I needed a new goalkeeper. I didn't need a new one. I just wanted a more experienced Premiership goalkeeper. And out of all the options there was, Begovic was the best one. I found he's just going to be our number one. He's 33. I'm not fussed about that. He offers a good experience. He hopefully be a good player for us. He's gone for 3.4 million. 3.6 million, sorry. And again, yeah, he's just going to be our new goalkeeper. Nothing wrong with Cook, he just wasn't the level I think that's going to push us on. He's a good player, but I just feel we need a little bit more experience to take us to the next level. Next is a couple of youngsters again. Oh no, another youngster. I'll send him straight back out on loan. Looks quite decent. And then we got Olivia Nitcham. Nicham. I'm not sure I pronounce it, but we'll go with that. Uh, got him on a free from Man City. He's going to be our right winger. Or like wide midfielder, whatever you want to call it. Really good player, young, 23 French, international, or under 21 international anyway. Just a very good well-rounded player. We got him on a free, and he's valued at 9 million. So if we sell him on in a season or so, not too bust. After him, we got another youngster in from Puerto Rico, not Puerto Rico, uh, Costa Rica. Another youngster, another youngster again. Effectively, I was buying up as many youngsters as I possibly could find. Next one who's actually in our starting team is Tom Hockerhin. 
not sure if I'm saying that right, but I'm going with it. Who will be our backup um, striker, really. Looks really, really decent. And at 19, he's just going to get better. With 15 finishing and 16 composure, you couldn't ask for more, really. He's relatively quick. He's got all the natural fitness in the world. He's strong. He's got stamina. He's got the teamwork. He's got work rate. So he's all round a really good striker. He's going to do well to help our team out. Then we I started looking at our centre backs. We went for Ivan Hadjik. My phone was flashing away. He picked him up. He was on it. He was injured at first, but he's Croatian, young, very good. Um, Technicals and mentals, physically good as well. He's just going to improve. He's 20, gone for about how much do we get him for? 9.5 million. I feel that's a bargain for him, really. He's going to do well for us and hopefully be our main day centre back. And then Eugenio Perez, young goalkeeper, was on the transfer list, picked him up and sent him straight out on loan. And Dickman, <laughs> which I think is a brilliant name from Austria, I'd already had this agreed. He's still here I think he's on the loan list he is now but again just going to be in and around the team going to go out alone if I can get him one then Aline Ku Kuaku um, left back very good physically good mentally good and technically can improve but he's only 17 from Belgium he's got 521 caps already and who wants him um, Luton wanted probably on loan, but it looks quite decent, so definitely going to be one for the future. This is where things get interesting, where I start spending some real money. And Dirk Boss from, um, he's Dutch, I was going to say from Dutch, from FC20 for 10.5 million. He, l I don't know why I click that, he looks amazing. Okay, forget the red marks, he's just come back from international duty, so he hasn't been training. Physically, Excellent, um, mentally really good, off the board's good, his decisions are good. His determination could have do with improving, but he looks really, really good. I'm happy with getting him in. Dribbling's good, finishing is excellent, his composure could do with improving as well, but definitely room to go. In. Only 20, he's just going to get better. Next player on the list, we had Ibiselli, who I already had pre agreed. He's gone straight back out on loan. And then I wanted to sort the right back roll out. I went for Borges San Martino, who good young right back, gonna do a good job for us I hope. And be better than what we've had recently and just sure up that right back role. Then we looked a bit more local and went for Ross Campbell, who is a centre mid or defensive mid um ball winner, whatever you want to call him, really good Scottish player, nine on twenty one caps, physically good, his jumping's not the best. He's not the quickest, but he's got I'm sure there's something like good positioning, his tackling's excellent, his technique's good, his work rate's brilliant, so he's just gonna be here, there, everywhere. Just sort of mopping up anything in our midfield. He's gonna be the backup this season, but he's definitely gonna be getting a lot of game time. I'm gonna make that a priority. After him, we then we'll do wreck it first. Who I just need another centre back. He was on the transfer list, got him pretty cheap. Was it 1.3 million? He's valued at four and a half, so got him in. He's going to just help shore up our defence a bit more and just really improve it. And probably the signing I'm most happy with and the one I spent the most money on is David from uh, where do we get him from? Maritimo. Okay, he's not scored many for his team but his international record is excellent 15 under 21 goals in 15 games one one and two in his full team debut he just looks brilliant he's physically a beast going to be running up and down the pitch for days his anticipation is good his concentration and composure could have improved but he's got excellent decisions and determination his work rate's good his off the ball's decent Technically, he's good as well. Dribbling's okay. His finishing's excellent. Heading's really good. Then he can he can jump as well. And yeah, it's one of those players I'm actually really excited to see. He won the European Under Twenties, on European Under Twenty Championship. Portugal won it the last two years. And did he play in the final? 
Or to... No, I'm assuming he didn't. No, he was on the bench, but he was in the team. So he's got that winning mentality. And really, really happy to get him into our squad. He's a four-star player. I needed to fill that gap with Gennaro going. And I feel, instead of buying one person to do it, I bought three. In terms of David, um, Boss, and Hoka Hin are really going to fill that void. And hopefully pumping a load of goals. So we're going to get into the game against... Uh, Aston Villa for our starting season. I'm pretty sure they're our rivals. I'm, I'm feeling they're rivals. Yes, they're a local rivalry. I don't know why. I'm not. I don't live in the UK, so I'm trying to work out rivalries and locations a bit out in my head. But we've got a few players injured, which is a little bit disappointing already from the summer. But we're going with Boric. Well, not Boric. Begovic. Samuel San and Martino. O'Connell, Reckitt, Fabio, which is probably wrong, but where's Robinson? No, we're going to start Robinson, I reckon, and Fabio's going to be on the bench. Then we've got Murphy. Where's... The manager's moved there, Bruvin. Where is... Oh, Nietzsche's gone in there. Why has he gone in there? Oh, because Campbell and Brent Carr are both suspended. That be why. And Brunskill's there. He's, at, he's on the loan. Okay, we'll leave him in there. We'll leave it that way. Don on the left. Boss and David up top. Is that the right, right way around I wanted it? Yes. I'm pretty sure that's all. Yeah. I'm pretty sure David was right for cuts in from this. Yeah, that's the team I'm going with. So uh, this racket wants a number, so we can have number 31. Get him in and just get going. And I've no idea who they're playing. Um, Green, Upper Cano, Elphick, Lucas, De, De Silva, Torre, Botut, something, Kleber, Ben Woodburn, and Zipkovic. So let's see how our new boys get on and really see if they can make an impact in our division. They're probably going to take a couple of games to get used to playing with everyone with, within the new system and the style I play. But I look forward to it. I'm actually quite optimistic about this season. If we can get off to a decent start or anything and really have a good go this year and sort of solidify ourselves as mid-table premiership team. They're coming forward with the first highlight. Can we block it? No, it's gone to... And Martino heads out to De Silva, who intercepts it, whips it back post. And Begovic can't save it. Gula, whatever his name is, scores. And that's a little bit annoying. <laughs> Saying we've dominated the game. They've had the shots, but they've scored. Hmm. Not what I wanted to see. And this highlight takes forever. Don't want to head it out, but we just who who slid in, who slid in. Whoever's on the yellow card, but they, Murphy slid in and didn't get anywhere near it, and leaves him through for the header at the back post. Nietzsche, Gale, David, David. He's going. He shoots. He scores on his debut. What a goal! What a finish by David. Right foot cutting in from that left hand side, and just puts in that top corner. Just drives into the middle and goes top corner. Nothing you could do. Boss is coming off now. And wow, what a way to start the game. Why is. To say that, they've scored. What the hell happened there? Why is Murphy on the field? Oh, okay. I didn't take him off. But he just let them score again. Literally, that's the second highlight. That's the first time after our goal. Which is... No one even near him. Ooh. Murphy. That's all his fault. He didn't even decide... 2-1 to Aston Villa, which is not the way I wanted to start the season off. On a losing streak. I would absolutely yell at them telling them they played shit. Which, to be honest, they didn't play that bad. They just didn't do 
anything and our right winger right. leg seven we'll come back to the chelsea game because it at least gives us a little bit of a jump and then we come back for like the everton arsenal area so guys if you have enjoyed smash the like button smash the subscribe button i'll see you next episode when we take on chelsea so i'll see you then